Cody. <laughs> and I'm Val. <laughs> and we are currently driving down to Calgary. And we thought, what better time to record a intro video than now, even though we're both awkward and not sure what to say. But... That's not 100% true. I am completely suave and like charismatic and stuff. It's just that I'm driving right now, so that's why I seem awkward. This one's kind of awkward. <laughs> So I don't know how well the audio is going to be in here. Worst case scenario, I guess we'll re-record it later. But I guess we just wanted to have a quick video up kind of explaining who we are and what this channel is going to be about. So as we said, Cody and Val, husband and wife, um, kind of grossly in love. And that's cool with me, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. We've been told that we're sweet enough that diabetics get sick. And uh, so we've been thinking for probably over a year now, oh, maybe, more than that. maybe two years. Yep. For, for a long time, we've wanted to explore the van life. And so we've spent a lot of time watching YouTube videos and on Instagram and Pinterest and forums and stuff like that. And there was a lot of back and forth about it, um, especially because Cody kind of had it in his head that, you know, it sounds and looks like a romantic idea, but there's going to be a lot of things that suck about it too. And I think in the beginning I was very caught up in the romantic notion of it, not really thinking about the realities of it as well. He kind of grounds me. I, have, I always have my head in the clouds and he's kind of my rock that grounds me. But um, So it was a lot of back and forth and hemming and hawing and we've spent a lot of time trying to put ourselves in a position where we could afford to do van life, like paying down our debts and eliminating a lot of big monthly expenses. And, um, like rent. Yes. So we still have a bit of debt left, but we think we're finally, we know we're finally in a position now where we can support this lifestyle and I guess we're just kind of big believers that you should be able to live your life through your values and what's important to you and leaving each other every day to go to work and when your whole life revolves around going to work to make money to pay bills to come home and sleep in your house and you don't ever get to do anything that's not really the life we want to live yeah and I think everybody should have some kind of work and we'll continue working for your while yet and what that really looks like in the future I'm not sure um, but for us it was important that we that we could have our freedom back in our lives and be able to travel the world and go see new places and, and you know we wanted to put more of an emphasis on living life rather than working and it's funny because I think both of us always thought that we might have you know like the house and get married and have kids and work our jobs right you know that was kind of you know keeping up with the Joneses we had nice vehicles Cody was working as a pipe fitter, making a lot of money. We were taking home a lot of money every month. And then we got married and he got laid off and we had to learn to live way below our means. Like way yeah. below our means. <laughs> or at least from what we were used to. And uh, I think that two years of him having little to no work and us really having to downsize kind of taught us what was important to us and what we valued. And it wasn't the fancy cars or the nice things. It wasn't the big screen TV. It wasn't the latest technology. And there's still some things we still enjoy. Like, you know, there's still things that we might splurge on, but I think we really just realized that the time together and our life experiences were more important than the material things and the money. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I spent six plus years pursuing a career that got pulled right out from under me as soon as oil went out the window through no fault of my own. Um, I don't have that kind of control over the world, but I was still grossly affected by it, so since the standard path isn't going to be there for us, we're going to pursue the path we want and live vicariously through ourselves instead of just reading books and thinking, oh man, is that going to be cool one day? <laughs> yeah. And uh, this kind of spurred like a, a whole thing, you know, it wasn't just that we wanted to, you know, go live in a van and travel the world, but we've also, we want to restructure our lives around being able to pick up cool new things, like being able to learn how to use a bow and how to hunt and how to forage and how to live completely off grid with a more primal instinct on things rather than relying so much on, you know, technology and modern day conveniences. And while they're nice to have, and I really enjoy them, and I'm sure I'm going to struggle with this, um, I'm also really excited though to develop skills and uh, just gain more knowledge that'll be real world useful, you know, like, I don't know, what were some of the things that you had said you wanted to do? The hunting survival. I think it'd be really cool to eventually develop the skills to take off into the bush for a week or so with a knife and be totally okay. Um, 
just a knife and be totally okay. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, but basically, I don't know, I read a lot of fantasy, science fiction, so forth. So in the back of my head, there's like always the zombie apocalypse scenario. Yeah. <laughs> so if the apocalypse happens, I don't want to die out because I don't know where to hunt for gluten-free burritos. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, it sounds cliche and kind of stupid, but that's always what's in the back of my head. Like if the zombie apocalypse were to occur or some other event like that, um, could I survive? No, there's no way I could right now. And I want to be able to develop all of the skills I would need to survive something like that, um, including getting fit, losing weight, gaining back my flexibility and strength, being able to, um, you know, tra traverse, is that the right word? Yep. Traverse across multiple different kinds of terrain and stuff like that, and um, be able to track and hunt and just, uh, just yeah, I, I just I really want to be able to develop a practical, real world skill set that I might have to use one day. And, so you might be wondering, okay, Cody and Val, that's, that's nice and cute and whatever, um, but why are you making a video about it? Well, we wanted to make a YouTube channel about it and a, we and a website so that we could kind of share our experiences and our journey because we are two very average people mm -hmm. right now. I mean, we live in Alberta, Canada. Uh, we both work, well, I work full-time, Cody works full-time when he can pick up work. Um, yeah. We're still about $30,000 in debt, maybe a little bit more. Um, now, admittedly, we've paid off over $100,000 in debt in the last four years, but... Almost 200. Almost 200 grand, yeah, in four years. And and all of that was consumer debt. Like, we're talking credit cards, lines of credit, loans, yeah. like... No awesome trips, no, no house, no art, that's no right. collectibles, <laughs> no, like... Nothing of value. So that kind of gives you an idea of where we're at. So, we're like, we're, we're just very average. I'm probably 80 pounds overweight right now. You are what? 40 to 50. Yeah, he's in way better shape than I am. Uh... I am currently taking uh, medication for anxiety and depression. I kind of hate my job right now. <laughs> like I'm not very happy where I am, and we're just we're, we're just very average, very typical. And so we wanted to share our journey of how you know anybody can do this. It's one thing to see you know all these cool van lifers out on the road and all their cool adventures and stuff like that, but it's not often that you get to see how somebody actually does it. Um, and what the real world stuff looks like. So we don't really want to romanticize this journey, I don't think. We more so want to just share our life perspective, share our experiences, share the everyday behind the scenes kind of thing. Yeah, basically we want to give you hope. I mean, you see a lot yeah. of people out there that, like, they got it together, they got some sort of an income situation figured out, they got their whole situation handled. It's like, of course they can do it. We're the ones that hopefully you guys see that and be like, well, if those two can do it, <laughs> why can't I? Exactly. Because at the end of the day, if you have a dream, if you're not living life the way you want to, you need to change it. You need to go after your dream, your goal, whatever it is, make your changes. And it can be scary. And I get that. Like, I am so excited to be doing this, but there's still that fear and that, you know, I feel terrified. Like, what if it doesn't work? What if we can't make it work? What if we can't make money? What if we have to you know, go back to living in an apartment and renting and working full time. And, you know, there are all those fears of failure around it. But I think if you just, if you're always in fear of failure, you're never going to move in the direction that you want to. It's, you know, I'm tired of being average. I'm tired of being just like everybody else. And I want to pursue something awesome. And so that's kind of where we're at right now. Yep. So I'm going to leave it at that. That was a little bit longer of an intro than I wanted to give you guys. But now you know who we are and what we're about. And we look forward to taking you on our journey with us. Bye. Bye.